What's going on guys? So here's the long awaited dreaded video. Uh, not too long ago, probably about two weeks ago, I ended up going down on my bike finally. Um, been riding probably for like eight, nine months and uh, started getting a little cocky, a little too comfortable and uh, started doing uh, some clutch ups. So the other day from work, I ended up screwing around with some clutch ups on an uh, empty street. I ended up going over the back and uh, as you guys can see there's some pretty good damage. So pretty much as you can see there's no mirrors. Mirrors flew off. Actually held that pretty good. I was going probably about 45 miles an hour. You can see there's some scrape on the levers. Got some not much tear in the stickers. A little scratched up on the uh, the fairing. The uh, the chuck actually did its job, held up. I don't think there's any frame damage. I'm still gonna get that checked. The lever, like always, the brake lever has been, or the yeah, brake lever's been bent a little bit. Got some scrapes right there. Shaved away a little bit. Got some on the tail. A little bit of damage. Um, as you can tell, I went over the back. Got a little bit too much throttle. Couldn't control it. Scraped up ditched the bike so the exhaust and everything got pretty scratched up um, the fender eliminator right here you can tell it got scratched up got bent out of place um, this right here actually the blinkers were in great condition and were salvageable until my dad had the great idea to try and move my bike and ended up dropping it so now I got another 200 bucks to throw in to replace that um, this is the main thing right here is the back rim ended up getting bent pretty good out of shape not sure what happened um the other thing too i noticed that the uh seems like the suspension might be a little screwed up so looks like i got some good bills coming my way other than that everything's in great shape it still runs and everything uh a little damage on the uh the front windshield the windscreen uh when it hit the wall what ended up happening is I ended up going, uh, doing the clutch up, ended up riding it for a little bit, and then ended up getting too much throttle, shot right up. And uh, like I said, I ditched the bike and I started tumbling. Uh, again, this is at like 45, 50 miles an hour. And uh, I ended up watching my bike and it ended up going up, falling over, and then just sliding for a while. So luckily it didn't flip or anything. Um, I'm still not sure on how that bent, that rim got so bent, but uh, pretty much what happened is it went up, caught the tail, jumped, fell on its side and just slid, and then slowly came to a stop, and then as you can see, not too much damage, but it ended up hitting the, the side wall, kind of like on the end of freeways, the cement barriers that it has, it ended up resting against that. This actually rubbed right here now. So this is a little tweaked out. I'm not sure what's damaged yet. I'm going to take it to a shop, get it uh, looked at, and then uh, probably end up fixing it back up. But luckily, not too much damage. As you can tell, I got a little fractured tip on the pinky. I'm in a brace, knee brace, um, possible torn ACL. They don't know yet. They think it might be just stretched. I got some cartilage that needs. they need to go in and shave off. Um, hey, I'll end up showing you guys my gear. Again, this is embarrassing as fuck, but I'm here to educate, let people learn from my mistakes. So pretty much these are the jeans I was wearing. Um, yeah, I know people like wear leathers and shit, but whatever. Like, pants did a great job. As you can tell, it tore through a little bit. I got a little bit of road rash on my ass, but this is two weeks after. Uh, the jeans actually did a really good job. Um, I ended up rolling, so again, that's probably how I jacked my ACL up. But um, I got a little tear right here. Um, right here is where my wallet was. Ended up tearing that. I think the wallet saved my ass pretty damn good because you can see from all my IDs, they're actually bent and cracked. So I got to get a bunch of new IDs. My uh, debit card, I'm not going to show you guys the number, but it's cracked up pretty good. It's bent. Um, works sometimes. Gloves, um, not really a fan of these. These are the, I forgot what they are, the uh, Power Trip, like GTs or some shit. Um, like $50 gloves I got. Uh, they held up alright. They ripped through. 
Uh, I'm gonna sit on my hands and uh, leg apparently the whole way. I was wearing a textile armored jacket. For some reason, uh, with my jacket and backpack, there's not a single mark on either of them. So uh, literally all the damage is on my pants and gloves. Um, I'm not really touched anywhere else, which is kind of weird. And then I had a quick scrape right here on the helmet. Um, everything else is just normal. Uh, this scrape right here is from my dad again, dropping my helmet after the crash. Um, right here. From uh, him dropping the helmet again. So uh, I think most of the damage is actually from my father. But um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Again, I'll show you guys the bike. Like I said, this is embarrassing as fuck, but I post this shit so everybody else can learn from everybody's mistakes, hopefully not make it their own. Uh, just pretty much the lesson is just don't get cocky. Make sure you ride in your ability and try and be safe and gear up. I know in my videos I don't gear up all the time, but uh, at least I have a little bit of something. So that way I don't get too jacked up for this exact reason. You never know when you're going to go down, if you're going to go down. But uh, damage from uh, visually doesn't look too bad, but again, I'm going to get it checked out. The bike starts up, everything runs great, no mirrors. Um, I, again, I think there's something going on with the back suspension. It squeaks a little bit, just doesn't feel right. Uh, sitting a little low. Um, and the front, the front end, it's weird because everything is seamless. doesn't look like anything's out of place, but this is definitely a lot lower to the uh, reservoir than it used to be because I can't turn the handlebar without scratching it. And again, this is my dad trying to move my bike. Just went ahead and scratched it all up. Hopefully you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm okay. I have no serious injuries besides my ACL. That's whatever, I'll heal up. And the pinky, a little bit of road rash, very minimal road rash. But uh, I was expecting a lot worse from the way people talk about it. So. Jeans do do a pretty decent job. Make sure you wear your helmet. If you can, wear a jacket or some kind of armor. But, uh, yeah, pretty much there's the video. There's the bike. Just letting you guys know, keeping you guys updated. Got stupid because I posted about everybody else. I'll do it about myself. I ain't got no shame in that. But, yeah, bike's pretty decent. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it back up and running. Not going to lie, I'm tad scared shitless of this thing right now, but... Got to get back on. I love riding. So, yeah. As always, take care, guys. Be safe.